Hello and welcome and today I will show you how to work with the material library which I think is very important if you work a lot of uh, with procedural ma materials uh, and want to port them from different files into each other. Um, you, you don't need to use this append function and then import the object, delete the object, apply the material to something else. You can just use this render material library which I will show you in a second. For that we just need to go into the shading tab. And then we can use here, we can make this a bit bigger. And then we can make a new artillery here. And then you will see down here, we have something that is called material library VFX, uh, VX. We can open this. Um, there should be like templates and sample materials. You can make your new custom li library here. And then you just open that. Um, for me, there are already things in here because I obviously use it a lot. For example, let's just apply this procedural dirt. Uh, no, let's use the rocky sand, for example. Let's apply this to the selected material. Need to select it as well. Apply to select it. And then it generates this thing that I have built before with the whole no tree and everything I want onto my new object in the new file. Important, this is a copy. It is not a reference. You can change this however you want and it will not replace the original file in the original... Um, uh, it will not replace the original m material in the original file. So you can play around with this however you want, change it however you need in, the, in your new project and just keep the base layer. This is incredibly handy if you have like small stuff to, to tweak. For example, I want to change the color of the sand but I want the overall shape of the sand to stay the same. So I just tweak my my image, my color ramp here for the new colors to match what I need. Um, to add to add materials to this is also like really simple. All you gotta do is in the material you want to you want to save in in your library, you obviously need to rename it so you can find it again. You then scroll down, select the library you want to you want to save it in and then just press add to, add, to, add to library and it saves this under the name you have saved you have named this here in this library and you can always use it in every blender file um, given this the main file is still intact and usable and you didn't move it or delete it or something because all this does is just it draws from the old file and just copies into the new file without you having to append something I feel like this is a really, really great feature, which is not often used or not even talked about a lot. A lot of I, I feel like um, you can even preview your materials if you are, if you are unsure what your materials are. But this is, I feel like, a very, very great tool if you have a, if you have like a certain style you usually do. For me, it's sci-fi. I do a lot of sci-fi stuff, so I can reuse a lot of my sci-fi materials and like nearly every project I do, I can reuse one of my old materials I've already built. So I just go into here, use the material I want, and it works, and I can change stuff, and it's just wonderful. I feel like this is something that you, using Blender, should do more because it helps you be way faster in texturing. So yeah, this was a very, very short video. It's a very simple video, but I feel like it's still an important topic to, 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 to discuss. And... I hope I could help you some. Bye-bye.